Let's see these guys again, I guess, even though I don't want to. Thank you. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I don't need to worry about the attacks for those guys anymore. But I, mm, I, I, I don't really have much to say about Fracture Hills itself. It's just kind of dull. Like I don't know. I never really cared for this stage that much in general. Not even, not even just because of the whole like like alchemist backtracking issue and just the alchemist mission in and of itself like that that's annoying for its own reasons but just the level itself i never really cared for that much it just doesn't really do much for me and i can't really explain why it's just something about it it's not my favorite level either hmm the enemies don't help. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of annoying. The weird bush guys, I swear there's an enemy like that in Spyro 1. I could be wrong. Yeah, those guys. Oh man. It's really weird when you lose sparks, like, when you actually have to collect the- pick up the collectibles and stuff. Because you're so, you're so used to him doing the busy work for you. I don't want to hear this nonsense. I'm gonna die. Oh well, we got a save point. So who's the real enemy? The tree or the bee? Uh, the bees, really, because the the, the the bees are the ones that are like go right up to you and just uh, annoying to deal with. The tree itself is like me, doesn't really do much. I mean, I guess the tree is like sending sending out the bees, like yeah, shaking the hive. So I guess that's the thing. But whatever. Thank goodness you can skip that. Literally the best thing about the satyrs is that the pigs dance to their music. Yeah. Yeah, those guys give you uh, a decent amount of time to react, so... Mainly the bees. <laughs> Don't tell Maddie. What now? Don't tell Maddie about the bees. I think there's a Cortex Twin Sandy joke you can make about this. Probably. Oh, the the part where you get chased. Cortex gets chased by like bees and like. Like Best a bear. Scene. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Right, we can. Oh my goodness, oh, combo! Yeah, we can kill these guys by just pushing them into lava. But the ones near Hunter, we. Uh, he, there's no lava. So let's just. May as well just clear these areas out. Don't they restart this? Don't they respawn when you do the Alchemist mission? Uh, I don't. I don't think they do. I, I don't think these ones do. Because these are separate to where the alchemist is. Could be wrong. Yeah, that... Oh, man. That axes or whatever are just annoying to avoid.
Yeah, this is the eye. Okay, let's, uh... Can I get some fodder so I can get health back? I just realized the fodder responds in some areas, so... Yeah. Are they basically immortal? Probably. <laughs> I mean, Spyro, I think it was Spyro 1 was just like, no sheep were harmed during the making of this game. They just... They just respawn infinitely, I guess. Uh, that's my new headcanon now. That's why Spyro has no feels in killing them. Yeah. Yeah, boy. You're totally not supposed to do that. <laughs> Right. There's a skill point where you have to uh, make like three laps around the area with uh, the supercharge, but I'm gonna... I'm not sure if the Earth shape is stay dead after the Hunter mission, but I'm gonna try that anyway, just so that they might get out of the way. I think you can actually kill them with a supercharge and the Alchemist. They won't respond for the Alchemist mission, but the Alchemist will still run around in the pattern. I, oh, I can try that. That was a high. Did you say anything? Just stand still, he says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Oh, hi, Spyro. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'd appreciate it mightily if you could locate that alchemist. He owes me a favor. Why well, can't Spyro just use a supercharge to break the zone? Yeah, that could totally looks like it could work. Unless it's, unless it's like some super stone, but... Unless it, it would, like... Great yeah, hunters, like, unless you were like great hunters, legs in the process. We're overthinking this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the you can't be as bad as like the uh, banana bird thing in DKC Three, where like there's like <laughs> there's like a barrier I can't get through, and it, it, the way it, it, it's like. The make they make it look. It looks like she can just walk around it. <laughs> and we missed stuff over here, so. I don't. Gen I generally don't care about that st kind of, that kind of stuff, but it's funny to f like. It's funny to t uh, think about and just. It makes for funny co uh, discussion during a playthrough. But in the general grand scheme of things, that stuff doesn't matter. There's another guy up there. I feel like it's easier to suspend my disability for some games than others. Yeah, I mean it really depends like what the context is. Let's get you over here. No. Can you think of like uh, one example of a game going like really off the wall, like nonsensical? That's like, it's like okay, we need to take a step back. <laughs> uh, Sonic Adventure Two because <laughs> no one can tell the difference between Sonic and Shadow. <laughs> I mean, and they don't play it for laughs. <laughs> Yeah, they play it straight. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know. I can't think of many uh, situations of that off the top of my head right now, but... I mean... Sunshine, for because the piano is stupid enough to make mistake Mario for someone else. I mean, yeah, I guess. Even when I see him running around in broad daylight. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> no, excuse me. All right, let's see if this. Uh... Oh no, they just they just get charged or like super far away. Does that? Oh no, just they just walk back. But yeah, to get the skill point, you have to like follow this exact this path I'm standing on, and go through that three okay. times. <laughs> That nonsense. Hey, yo. Alright, it's time to try. It's time to try and do one of the most infamous uh, mini games in the game. 
Uh, let's see how this goes. I've been experimenting with this potion. I'd like to test it out, but the earth shapers out there have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? No. Great. Just keep <clears throat> those earth shapers away from me and I'll take this potion to Hunter. This is the stupidest alchemist ever, because it's like, you could just make, go past that one earth shaper and then you would be right to Hunter, but he has to make, make this like, like really elaborate course through this area for some reason. And it just makes no sense. And it doesn't help that he's, he's actively, some... he's actively going towards them. Yeah, like what kind of boneheaded alchemist is this guy? <laughs> and it doesn't help that he like, at one point, he's like literally on his way to Hunter around here, like here, and then he just goes. Why does he do that? There's no, no, no reason to move back here. Aye. Right. Okay, we're done. <laughs> it's not really that hard, but it's just really unorthodox the Man, route he takes, and it's just better. why. Look after this for me. This one is this this part is also pretty strict though. I completely completely forgot you got uh, two uh, as long as you're here, two separate orbs for like, both, like two orbs for both parts shapers. of this. But it doesn't change the fact that you need to uh, right. do the alchemist when part I again if you don't have a head bash. With an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, and this is pretty strict, so you gotta watch it. Triangle. I keep on forgetting what that hunter's an archer. Yeah. Oh, come on. So wait, so how do arrows hurt them? No clue, but hey. I don't know why he decide. This is this is where it gets to get a bit messy because like he decides to get at one that's like really far away, and it kind of makes things a little bit harder to manage because of that. Okay, that wasn't too bad actually. I was expecting a lot worse. Here, I was going to give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. <laughs> hey, I, line, Hunter. I really want. Uh, no, no, that, that's not what I wanted to say. Um, I, I'm really curious to see like how the cutscenes and like the character dialogue stuff is gonna be in reignited. Like the cutscenes especially, that's going to be very interesting. Right, let, let's clear this path out first. Is there, like, anything of worth in her? Okay, no, it's just up here and then you loop around. Oh, I need, I need to open that over there. And there's a, um... I remember that there's, like, a, a bunch of gems that need to be opened. Through... Yeah, that up there. Okay. I might be able to like jump up. Oh my goodness! Ah! I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do that. But it looks like it can work. How are you supposed to jump up, like, 
Oh man, it's annoying. I'm about to go another way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like drop off some from somewhere. Like, hmm. I can't see any other way this can work. Wait. Maybe that might. That platform seems a bit higher. Like, that, that's too high. So what if I just change the route through this? Dang it. Whoa! Oh, okay, okay. I got the right idea now. Oh. Camera. Woo! Now that is cool. <laughs> I approve of that. Now what are we missing? Oh, I had a door. Alright, I'm gonna try the lap, the uh, free lap thing. I don't know if you have to follow this path directly, but. That was a great start. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure you used to follow it directly, but I'm going to just to make, just to be safe. I'm not really sure how, how you'd figure this out though. It's kind of random. I mean, there's like a track there, but nothing's gonna happen for the first few times, so I don't really know. Oh gosh. Yeah, and you can't bash into anything during this, so, yeah, be careful. Mm, oh, gosh. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, this is pretty nerve-wracking to do. Fight! Oh! Dang it! No! <laughs> oh, gosh, we're gonna be cutting. And we're gonna have to do this until we actually get the skill point. I mean, this is a, I mean, cool idea, but there's like, no, no, I just wish there was a better hint to this. This is the worst part when you have to like get through that and, and, uh, and not bash on the, uh, the, uh, super power thing gate. Thing on Bob. Mm. All right, last lap, I think. Imagine if you gain speed each time you went through. Yes! We got it. it. It gains more speed every time it went through the gate. Yeah. Alright, now I just need to use this to open the, the, open the door. Boom! Oh, I'm still missing gems. Oh, thank goodness you broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please take it. <laughs> like how, uh, like, uh, excuse me, like how they all just have yo-yos. Yeah. It's like trying to be like the, uh, be like Crash's, uh, idol, one of the Crash's idol animations. Alright, where are you? Over here. Uh, we might have missed something around the, uh, the thing, I forgot what it was called.
just take a look around. Nope. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> I didn't break these. Okay. Cordio. Ugh, finally. Yep. Let's take a quick look just to make sure, but I think we're done with Autumn Plains. And, uh, yeah. Took quite a while. <laughs> yep, we're done here. Just look at that. Uh, yeah, that's Stasia. Not, uh, not, not counting the the har the uh, hub or the boss. There's ten levels here, which yeah, is a good deal of levels. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. And uh, the Winter Tundra has like. What is it? The, yeah, I think it might be able, it might show us it. Yeah, like three, three or four levels. I'm, I'm not sure if it's counting Dragon Shores in that, or or Repto himself. Because I I swear there's more than just three levels there. I think it is just three regular levels, one Speedway, and then the boss. Huh. Uh, how? What's the time right now? Twelve eighteen. Midnight. Uh, man. Uh, do you do you want us to uh, clear out the home home world or save that for next time? We can clear it out if you want. All right. All of that for one gem. Yeah. Let's not get into the into the portal. But it's kind of this game has really weird pacing issues. Cause say like, again, the, the second world has, just has too many levels, and there's barely any any substance in the third world, and it just ends nah. really fast. Yeah, when I got when I played through this during like the Christmas break. I collected so many orbs from the other two worlds that I already could go to Rift Over. Yeah. Like, you can... You can, like, ignore all the levels here, really. Hey. One last Speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. He said basically that exact same thing like twice already. Well, not word by word, but it's close enough. Now, Winter Chandra is a nice little home world. Snow by showing up again. Yeah. There's not. It's. Very small compared to the other two, though. You can you you see everything pretty fast. Oh, okay. I've heard there were gonna be like there there were like uh quite a few cut levels in this game. I I I haven't heard like what they were really anything about it, but if that's the case. Uh, Kind of feel like there were supposed to be four world, uh, four home worlds at some point. Especially considering they're trying to go for the whole season thing, and it just feels weird the fact that spring is just not there. <laughs> I don't know. I just always found that weird. Well, it's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud Temple. Oh, so we've got one. I know there's... Um, Robotica Farms and whatever the, uh... I think it's like Metropolis or something. 
Metropolis. Yeah. I can just Mystic Marsh as well. Okay, so. There's like four regular levels, a sub. Uh, subway. <laughs> a speedway. Um, and the boss. And I mean, that's about as large as Spyro One's home worlds tended to be. So it's not too weird in that sense, but it's just like when you compare Spyro Two's other home worlds, it's like there's a massive contrast. This touchy gate should work perfectly. But I don't play just because they can split some levels. Yeah. The second and third levels. Yeah. They probably could have just put like Shady Oasis and uh, Fracture Hills here, so you don't have to worry about the stupid head bash crap. And you know that shaves off a couple levels off of Alton Plains. These are the steepest steps I've ever seen. Yeah, that is really weird. Right, I know there are some gems in here. Yeah, I think I just stayed away from those well, anyway, until I actually was ready to go in. Yeah. I'm just going to be very careful and let Sparks pick them up. Come on. There we go. Cause I don't want to uh, activate the trigger. Right, I think there's some... I know there's like an orb on one of the... On top of this somewhere. And some gems. What, yeah, you mentioned orbs being just kind of hidden. Well, hidden like, yeah, kind of hidden. I kind of would have, I wouldn't have minded. They just had some of those, some orbs like that in the levels. Yeah, because they only do that in the home worlds, which is kind of a shame. I want collectibles in my collectible collector fun. All right, I know there's like a secret, like water passage somewhere because we haven't gotten all the orbs yet or the all the gems uh. up here oh <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you've already told us this no I, I we're missing yeah we're missing an orb Okay, I need to remember where this is. I thought it was uh, 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 excuse me. Okay, yes. I saw an orb near that waterfall with water bags. Yeah. Yeah, we need to find a way to we need to figure out how to get through the the or find that passage to the orb. Because you can't jump up there like that. Oh man. Yeah, I, I don't I don't mind the uh, the uh, home worlds being a bit more well a lot more atmospheric, but if it were me, I I uh, I prefer the uh, ones in Spyro One and Three where they have a actual distinct melod melody and stuff. Oh, here we go. I mean, these one, the ones in this game are fine, but uh, I like hearing actual music. I do like ambience, though. So All right. Nothing wrong with that. Um, let's see. Um, I'm not going to actually start a level, but uh, what what's your vote for what we start with? Um, you can probably look at the guide, but uh, I'll just get robotic right apart. Uh, no, we can't. Just get robotic farms over with. Yeah, that one goes on quite a bit. I mean, so does Metropolis, but I actually, pr I actually like that level quite a bit. So, uh, 
Alright, so next time, when we come back, uh, for hopefully the last session, we're going to do Roborica Farms, the rest of Winter Tundra, hopefully, and hopefully finish the game, so, yup, we'll see you guys then. Hopefully we finish this before E3. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm hoping for as well, because <laughs> we've got like another week or so, um, let's just say just another, again, just in case. We've got we got six days. <laughs> EA starts on Saturday. Oh man. We're running out of time, boys. Alright. Anyway, see you guys next time.